Analysts at the Institute for the Study of War have noted that in order to use the F-16s that have arrived in Ukraine, the defense forces should focus on defeating Russian air defense in the Russian rear and on occupied Ukrainian territories with Western long-range weapons. Ukraine reported that it had received the first batch of US-made F-16 fighter jets. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed the arrival of the F-16 aircraft in Ukraine on the 4th of August. In this regard, he especially thanked Denmark, the Netherlands and the United States. The ISW continues to assess that Ukraine will need a substantial number of F-16 jets in order to field them at the scale necessary for Ukraine to succeed in integrating fixed-wing aircraft into its wider air defense umbrella. Ukraine will also notably need to continue efforts to target Russian air defense assets within the Russian rear and in occupied Ukraine with Western-provided long-range weapons to enable its use of F-16 jets. Experts have noted that Russian military bloggers have responded to the arrival of F-16 jets by attempting to minimize their potential impact on the battlefield. This response undercuts Russian propaganda efforts which have sought to depict the delivery of F-16s and other Western weapons as a critical and unacceptable red line. Several Russian bloggers have stated that the Western and Ukrainian media are exaggerating the arrival of the F-16s to deflect attention from setback on the battlefield. Many bloggers quickly shifted their focus to how Russian forces would aim to target and eliminate the aircraft. In the Russian media space, commentators and officials often contend that the supply of Western arms to Ukraine constitutes a red line which, if breached, would necessitate a heightened Russian response. Nevertheless, Russia has consistently shown that its invocation of red lines is a tactic to deter the West from providing additional military support to Ukraine. Western and Ukrainian strategies have crossed these self-declared Russian red lines multiple times since the full-scale war began without provoking a substantial Russian reaction. Statements from Russian military bloggers indicate that this trend will likely continue with the deployment of F-16s. Короче, сейчас что-то рвануло, бахнуло так нехило, и дыма количество увеличилось. Красиво, блядь. Пожарка сама туда свалилась, смотри. Дроны въебали нефтебазу. Опять горим, блядь. Опять нефтебаза. Опять горим, блядь. Как всегда. Нормально. Пох. Thank you. 